When magnified, our mundane everyday world attains a sense of magic. Just watch as the zebrafish embryo, which is actually smaller than the tip of a pencil, build its nervous system in less than 24 hours. So to give you an idea, these guys will be swimming by 48 hours post-fertilization. So they develop very quickly. And just the fact that, you know, in 24 hours, they basically look like a fish is incredible. That's Liz. She studies how nervous systems are developed. You have 50 minutes per division, and within 24 hours, you have something that you see in front of your eyes. And that's Henry. And, uh, Henry so is what they call a microscopist. How do we decide what cells are going to turn into? Uh, that's going to constitute a muscle, what's going to turn into what constitute as the neurons that we're seeing. Their tiny zebrafish video just won first prize in the annual Nikon Small World in Motion competition. The competition basically selects the coolest movies or time-lapse photos taken through a microscope. So there's, there's two lines of axons called the central axons that communicate with the brains and other um, neurons. And they shoot out these third axons called peripheral axons that wrap around the body of the fish and allow it to sense touch. Uh, and that's just a really beautiful process. They branch, they interact, um, and they make decisions about how to cover the entire skin of the embryo. To be able to peek into that process, to follow as this teeny tiny fish puts itself together is to witness nature at its best. It's kind of like watching the finest of reality TV segments. Like this little worm that kind of looks like it's playing a fiddle, but it's actually just digesting its dinner. Or this Japanese mantis shrimp just stretching its extremities. It's almost paradoxical. There's this enormous world existing all around us, but we can't see it because it's hidden in the microscopic realm. Like these laser beams being bounced around inside a soap membrane, a tiny psychedelic light show. But this microscopic world is not just beautiful, it's actually helping researchers put the pieces of much more complex puzzles together. People may ask, why do you study fish? Why do you study a tiny little fish that has nothing to do with human from the, from the first sight. And we can show this video and then it's very easy to convey them, this is beautiful. And we can use this to study an extremely complicated phenomenon. And this phenomenon has so many implications in larger organisms. We often look to the stars to remind ourselves that there's more to it all than our own lives. But for people like Liz and Henry, we've got so much more to learn about our own planet. I think uh, we all start out as observational scientists as kids. And if someone who has sort of grown past that stage of their life, for the most part, can look at this movie and really notice details and get in touch with that, this is really exciting. I'm seeing all these things I haven't seen before and appreciating uh, how much in common, you know, different organisms have during development and how amazing the basic developmental processes are. Like that would be really rewarding for me too, is just for someone for a moment to step back and remember what it was like to be a kid that's just amazed by nature. <laughs>